Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the spanning tree protocol. I'm going to give you a brief overview of how spanning tree works and some key terms that you need to know of when it comes to spanning tree. I'm also going to give you a demonstration on how to manipulate spanning tree so it works in your favor. So let's get right into it. All right, the first key term is the root bridge. Root bridge is a switch on your layer two topology and it is in charge of STP. It is the reference point and all switches will eventually send data towards the root bridge. So when you are implementing the spanning tree into your network, you wanna make sure that the root bridge is a fast and robust device. Now in spanning tree, they have this language that they talk and it is called BPDUs or bridge protocol data units. And every switch that's participating in STP will send this out to every interface. And within that BPDUs, there's vital information like the root bridge ID, the sender's bridge ID, the, the cost to the bridge, uh, to the root bridge. So BPDUs, that is like the heart and soul and the lifeline of STP. Now there's this bridge ID or the bid it is a 16-bit value that has 4 bits used for the priority value and then 12 bits used for the VLAN ID. And that is key on the election portion of STP. Uh, root bridges, they are elected and the bridge ID with the lowest priority will become the root bridge. Now, there's these ports assigned to STP. There's the root port, designated port, and blocking port. Uh, the root port is the lowest cost interface on a switch that points to the root bridge uh, and that is in the forwarding state. Uh, designated port, they are also placed in the forwarding state and all ports on the root bridge are designated in forwarding. The block port, that could be on a non-root bridge switch and that is the port that actually blocks layer 2 loops. I also have some show commands here that are good to know and the next slide we have our topology. So here we have our uh, layer three switch at the distribution layer. And then at the access layer, we have two switches down here. And you can see we have a loop going on. Uh, these links are all 100 megabits. So the STP cost of each link should be 19. And I'll show you that when we do show spanning tree. And the default priority of all switches is 32768. So right now spanning tree is working. One of these ports is blocked and we may or may not want that. So the root bridge should be set in the distribution layer. So we should have switch three as the root bridge, but as it sits right now, spanning tree is doing it all by itself. So who knows where it is? Uh, I have goals here. We're gonna make the distro switch the root bridge and we're gonna manipulate our topology to make port three on switch two, the blocking port. So let's dive right in and let's see what's going on with spanning tree. So I'm on the multi-layer switch in the distro. Let's get in here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a show spanning tree. All right, so the root ID, that is this MAC address. It has a cost of 19 and it's on port one. So according to this, this, is, this should be the root bridge and my ports on my interfaces, you can see that if it's a root port or designated port, what state it's in and the cost to it. All right. Uh, this is the local bridge ID of the switch. You can see the priority right here, 32768, which is by default. And the system ID is uh, one because it's VLAN one. So the total bridge ID is 32769. All right. Uh, let's see what port is actually blocking. Let's go to switch two. Let's do a show spanning tree. And we see that there is a blocking port here and that is port two. Uh, port three is the root port and it is pointing to switch one. So we want switch three right here, the multi-layer switch to become the root bridge. So uh, we're gonna do a command and we're going to change the priority on our multi-layer switch and it should become the root bridge. All right. 
go into global config mode and the command here is spanning tree VLAN uh, what VLAN are we going to apply this to VLAN 1 and priority and we'll set it to any number that is lower than 32768 but it has to be a multiple of 4096 so let's just put it at 4096 all right exit out give it a couple seconds for spanning tree to send out that uh, topology change BPDU and let's do a show spanning tree all right notice that the ports on this multi-layer switch changed all changed from a root and a designated to both designated and they're forwarding and now you can see that this bridge is the root because we changed the priority which lowered the bridge ID and that is what makes STP choose the root bridge it is the one with the lowest uh, bridge ID alright so that is it uh, let's see what else uh, do we want to look at here Mm -hmm. uh, there's another command I want to show show spanning tree summary and here are some key things I want to point out show spanning tree summary tells you what uh, STP mode you're in this is running per VLAN spanning tree and you get to see uh, what ports are in the blocking listening learning and forwarding state so right here they have we have two ports and they're both in the forwarding state so that's good if we had other things enabled like uplink fast backbone fast things like that that would show here and show spanning tree summary so that is a good uh, command all right uh, let's go back to our goal here so that was done so now uh, let's go to our second one let's manipulate our topology to make port 3 on switch to the blocking port so this switch right here is the root bridge so we can put root bridge now if these links are 19 then this should be a root port this should be a root port now it's between these two links if it's if which one of them is going to become the designated and the non-designated port so this one we want this to be blocking so how do we do that well we manipulate switch one to have a high uh, a lower bridge ID than switch two, and uh, switch two will be forced to be the non-designated port, the blocking uh, port. So let's go to switch one and change the priority on that. Let me clear my board, and let's go to switch one. Enable uh, config T spanning tree. VLAN 1, priority, multiple of 4096. So it should be like, let's just say 24 something. Uh, let's see, let's choose one 24576. 24576. Hit enter. Now that has a lower bridge ID than the defaults of switch 2. So let's spanning tree do its thing and let's go on to switch two and see what we have so previously when it was all default we could see that port two was in the blocking state but we wanted to block port three so let's do a show spanning tree and port three is now the blocking port two is the root you can see the the cost to the root is 19 and port two is in the forwarding yep and we get to see who the root bridge is. And uh, this is our local bridge ID. So we met our objectives. This port is blocking. This is the root bridge. And these are root ports. That is good. So uh, I hope this gives you a better understanding of STP and how you can manipulate STP with the uh, bridge IDs. So I hope this was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.